Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a 3D model of complex surface model in Autodesk Inventor software. In this, we are going to construct this complex profile in Autodesk Inventor software. So let's get started. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter, go to create. Now select the 2D sketch and we will select here the XY plane. Take the line command. Make one line here till the center point. Skip. Go to dimension. Define this line a height of 80 mm. Zoom out. Okay. Now finish sketch. Now we are going to make one more sketch. So go to 2D sketch and select the XY plane once again. So we are selecting XY plane. Okay. Front view. Go to line command. And from this center point, make one line here, skip, go to dimension, define this line a dimension of 40 mm. Okay, now finish sketch. Now, here go to sweep command, select this line for sweep profile, and this will be the path. Here, the twist angle will be 180 degree. Okay, from front view, it will look like this. And press OK. Now go to thicken. Select this profile and we will thicken symmetric and the thickness will be 0.5 mm and press OK. OK. Now we are going to cut this profile. First select the surface profile, right click, turn off the visibility. Now go to 2D sketch once again, go to origin. And select the XY plane. Go to line command. From this bottom, make a straight line. Skip. Now, here you can see the line here. Go to dimension. Define this line a height of 40 mm and escape. So, this will be at the middle of this. Okay. Now, go to the arc command. Select center point arc. And select this endpoint as center point of this arc. And make one arc profile here till here. Okay. Now go to dimension. Define this radius as 40. Escape. Go to line command. Join this arc profile. Okay. Now make one extended profile till here, till here. And this till here, join here. Now escape. Now, when we drag this, it is moving. So, go to coincident constraint, select this point, and select this line. Okay, now escape. Now, go to dimension, define this outer line as 20 mm, this side also, this outer 20 mm, and this top line from here. Here you have to select the tangent side. Okay. So you can see the whole the tangent profile and give this 20 mm. Okay. Now go to 3D model, take revolve, select this outer profile, take here cut. The axis of rotation. So this will be the axis of rotation. Okay. Go to home. Now you can see this will be the complete profile. Now press OK. So this will be the cutted profile. OK. Now here we want to pattern this. So go to circular pattern and here click on pattern solids. Go to rotation axis and select the y axis. Here we are going to take a count of 11 and the angle will be 360 degree and press OK. Okay, so this will be the pattern. Now, for making a mirror image of this, go to mirror and select this complete circular pattern, or you can click on solid so mirror solids. And here, go to mirror plane and select the exit plane. Okay, and press OK. Now, here you can see the mirror profile. Okay. 
now rotate this as you can see it is not hollow so to make it a hollow profile we are going to select the sketch go to rotation select sketch 3 turn on the visibility okay go to front view and here go to view visual style and change it to wireframe okay now go to sketch take a 2d sketch and select the x xy plane go to project geometry project this outer profile okay the outer sketch this sketch escape now go to offset and select this profile drag the cursor inside enter and take here offset of 5 mm and escape okay so here double click this so this will be 5 mm now go to line command join this inner profile okay escape select this outer make it construction and here you can drag this go to coincident select the center point here the center point this and the line okay you have to mark it very appropriate okay now finish sketch select sketch 3 turn off the visibility now only this sketch is left okay you can see only this sketch is here go to 3d model take here revolve and select this as axis and here now click on cut now here you can see the red portion so this will cut the inner profile press ok now this will be the final outcome go to view take visual style and select shaded with edges now you can see a hollow profile over here ok go to home from top this will look like this ok and from front view this will look like this now go to appearance from here we will assign it a color so i will assign it a red color so light red i will assign it okay so this will be the final model you can turn on the shadow and reflection this is just for the view so this was a basic tutorial to how to construct a complex surface modeling in autodesk in enter i hope you like the video if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you